All right, let's take care of our, our trombone now. Um, this is a Vincent Bach Centennial model. Okay, I'm, a, I'm as well as a low brass professor at uh, Kaiser. I'm also a Vincent Bach and Con Selmer performing artist, and I play Bach trombones. So this is my tenor trombone, and this is the valve that corresponds to this model. Now, this valve, one beautiful thing about this valve is that, is that it's very, it's not that much of a different from the regular or traditional valve. So I can show you how to uh, grease or how to oil your valve, okay? So remember, for this slide, you use grease, okay? You use grease or cream, slight cream or slight grease. Never use oil, okay, for this slide. That damages the slides. That is a, the most common mistake that a lot of band directors make of when they give you oil to put on the slide. Oils are for valves, okay, or for triggers, okay, but not for slides. For slides, you use cream or you use uh, grease, cork, uh, not cork grease, grease for slides, slide grease, okay, which is totally different. Cork grease is the one that we use for the tuning slides, okay, which is very thick and it allows you to move your, your tuning slide very slowly, okay, and they need that thickness because it's a thicker material. Now, for your valve, you use oil, but not any oil, okay? I recommend to use Hetman uh, oil, synthetic oil. This is the bearing and link number 14, which is the one that we use for the outside of the valve. And this is the number 11 light rotor, which is the one that we use for the inside. So this is what we're gonna do. We're first going to apply the oil inside, okay? So for any traditional valve, which is very similar to this valve, okay, is, you, as you can see, is very, very similar, okay? So I like to apply a little bit of oil, one drop or two, on this area right here, okay? For that, I put my trombone flat horizontal, and I add the little number 11, which is light. Okay, I put the cap again. Make sure that it's tight, but it's not super tight or loose, okay? It's just tight, normal, all right? Once I do that, I move my valve a little bit just to let it penetrate, okay? Just to let it penetrate. And then once I have done that, I put my trombone in a vertical way with the bell up, okay? With the bell all the way up. I press the valve to make sure that the inner trigger, the inner valve is in valve position. And I add, again, a little bit more, a couple of drops of the light rotor through the pipe okay keep it pressed so you make sure that that oil that you just put in is going in the valve okay if you don't press this the oil is going to go straight to the trombone straight to the pipe and once you put the trombone in regular position all that oil is going to come back out okay and you could be actually a, a being, a being able to sometimes either swallow it or lose it, okay? So don't do that because that's dangerous, all right? So make sure that when you put the oil the way we just did, okay, the valve is pressed. That way it goes in the valve. Now you move it a couple of times and you can feel already how lighter it feels, okay? You can feel already how lighter it feels. Once you have done that, you can make sure that you can put your trombone all the way in regular position and nothing is gonna drop because all that oil went already inside the valve. That's why it's important that when you do the process, the valve is being pressed, okay? Good. Now, once you have done that, comes the turn for the outside of your valve. There is when I use a thicker uh, type of oil. This is number 14. 
I put a, a couple of drops or one drop right here, okay, in the spring. Put a little bit there. And then I also put a little bit in this little area outside, okay, just to make sure every single area in which two entities move and, and rub each other, okay? Just like oil in your car. So I do that there, okay? I put a little bit of oil also in these areas, okay? Every single, every single area in which you see that there are, there are materials that need to rub with each other. Once I have done that, voila! Your trombone is completely oiled up. You add your awesome slide that has been already cleaned up together. And done! Your trombone is ready to go. Now, instead of using this same warm water that is still a little bit warm, I use a little bit of cold water on this slide to help it run. Oh, you should feel this, okay? It feels awesome, all right? It feels, it feels like you can play as fast and as much as you want, okay? Now, for the mouthpiece, for the mouthpiece, I had already pre-cleaned it up Okay, I put it under, under the uh, sink, warm water running through it. Okay, once I done that, I have done that, I use a little cloth, I clean it up, I put it in the trombone, and voila, you're ready to go. Okay, I hope this helps you, and uh, I'll see you soon with a few other clips about different topics of your trombone and brass playing. See you soon.